I broke my back. Spinal. Just when everything was looking perfect for Chavez Jr. and the way he's been training, now we hear this. Nacho Berestein, his trainer, has revealed that he nearly left Chavez Jr. over an argument. Um, yeah, the dispute got so it got to the point where Nacho Berestein was about to walk away. And it was all because Chavez Jr. wanted to do things his way again, like he's, like he's done in the past. And um, this um, dispute came because Chavez Jr. wanted to finish his um, training camp this week at the location they're training up in the high altitude over there in Mexico. And uh, he wanted to finish it this week and just, you know, finish it off in Las Vegas or in a different location in Mexico. And um, Nacho was not on board with that. He wants them to finish at that location until the 28 or 29, which would be like a week before the fight with Canelo. And um, yeah, they've already had a half of the work. No, a month and a half of work right there has been done at that location they're at. And that's um, 3,200 meters above sea level. And um, I don't know if it's because he thinks he's had enough and he feels he's in shape. Or he just being overworked and he can't fucking take it because he's working at that high altitude. So who the fuck knows? But he made it clear, Nacho made it clear that if he left, that Nacho wouldn't be there for the fight. And we all know how he's been criticized in the past by trainers. Fucking Chavez doing it again. Just when everything was looking good. Well, this is what Nacho Verstein said. That annoyed me a lot. The fact that Chavez wanted to finish camp early here where we're at. I told him he was wrong. We've been here for a month and a half. And he wants to ruin that job. I'm not playing around. I'm a professional. I told him, I'm not going to Las Vegas like this. He convinced himself that I'm not playing around. And then he told, he told me he, he was fine, whatever I said. I just told him I did not agree with that decision. It's stupid to spoil everything we work for. We still have two weeks of hard work. I told him that I want, to, I want him to have at least... Six months of working with me, and I'm going to make him into a different fighter. And that's what Nacho Berstein said. So obviously he's um he has a plan for him, not just for this fight. He, I mean he's saying six months because he wants to keep working with him. It's not just for this fight. And um luckily he came to his fucking senses, or Daddy Chavez Sr. talked to him and you know probably talked shit to his ass and told him you ain't going anywhere. So, god damn. The good thing it's still on. I mean, if they would have really broken up, getting this close to the fight, it would have been something big. But no, he stayed there and looks like Nacho's still on board. But yeah, this whole thing is surfacing again because um, you remember, all you guys remember back in um 2012, I think it was, yeah, 2012 when he fought Martinez, Sergio Martinez. Everybody remembers that's when he got into it with Freddie Roach too because he just wanted to fucking train whenever he wanted. We saw it in the 24-7s that he was training at fucking home when he was walking around with them fucking them pink Speedos eating cereal and just moving fucking couches around the living room and putting on the pads and just working on the pads right there in the living room of his home. Like, come on, man. What the fuck are you doing? And he's been surrounded by good fucking trainers. I mean, Freddie Roach, Robert Garcia, fucking Nacho Verstein, And then his fucking dad on top of that, Chavez Sr., has, hasn't trained them. But you know he's been there every fucking fight. You know he fucking comes into play, advice and all that shit. So, I mean, fuck. It's just when everything was looking good. I mean, hopefully this doesn't fuck it up and he listens, man, all the way through the fight. 
But I mean, Nacho Verstein is talking about he has plans for him beyond this fight. I don't know if he's going to continue to have those fucking, that desire to be with him after this. Especially after Canelo whoops his ass. And, um, yeah, I mean, earlier this year, when he couldn't decide what trainer to get, he was talking about Robert Garcia again or um, Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach turned them down to come back to him again. But Freddie Roach said it was because of his schedule. Because of his busy schedule, which we all know is bullshit. That's kind of a bullshit excuse, you know what I mean? Freddie Roach got a lot of fighters. So he just he didn't want to deal with this shit again. And now Nacho's the one dealing with it. And um, yeah, I mean, Robert Garcia has also put on conditions before working with Chavez Jr. in the past and has told him that None of that bullshit is going to ride with him. None of that's going to fly with him. And he has to go to the gym and train. He even said that because he saw what he was doing on that fucking Martinez fight. Fucking just working out from home. In the backyard and shit. Like, no, you got to get your ass to the fucking gym. So, there you have it. Um, Chavez Jr. Fucking up again. Hopefully... This goes away, he listens and goes in into the fight the best we've seen because we want a fucking good match. We want a good fucking war. It looks good on paper. So hopefully it works out that way. Hopefully we don't hear any more of this bullshit. And um, that's all I got on this. I'm out. I broke my back. Spinal. Spinal.